very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ well once again this is your Christian brother Eric Parkson speaking to you all from his beloved country Trinidad and Tobago the land of my negativity the land of my good Trinidad and Tobago this wonderful island country that is the blue Caribbean Sea brothers and sisters I want to continue teaching you all about the ten lost tribes of Israel as I said, there are many groups in the world today who claim to be the ten lost tribes of Israel, but they are not. So that's a false claim on their part. And since many people don't know about the truth, history about the ten lost of tribes of Israel, these other groups who are claiming to be the ten tribes, they easily accept what they are saying. Brothers and sisters, I want you all to know that the ten lost tribes the kingdom was split after the death of Solomon, Roboam, and Jeroboam. God gave Jeroboam the ten tribes, but Jeroboam sinned against God and introduced idolatry in the land. And there was a the tribe of Levite was in the northern kingdom capital, Samaria. And plus the 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 the, the, the Leviticus priesthood, the make up the priesthood was also in down the southern kingdom, the, the southern kingdom Judah, Jerusalem. So what Jeroboam have done, he set up to go land calves in Israel and introduce idol worship. And the Leviticus priest he kicked them out and they left the northern kingdom and returned back to the southern kingdom. And Jetriboam introduced his own priesthood. He ordained himself a priest. He ordained his son's priest and other priests, contrary to the law. So Jetriboam, who was not from the tribe of Levite, see himself as a priest. He introduced his own priesthood. And his own priesthood was not from the tribe of Levite. He went contrary to God. But the Levites left the northern kingdom and returned back to the southern kingdom to join up with the Leviticus brothers and the and the tribe of Judah, Judah, Levi, and Benjamin that make up the southern kingdom. Mm -hmm. God continued to warn the northern kingdom to turn from their sinful ways and he sent many prophets to warn them. They have killed and stoned the majority of the prophets that were sent by God. And King Jezebel, Queen Jezebel and King Heav, the most wicked king and queen of Israel, in the days of Elias, Elijah, and Elisha the prophet, as we read in 1st Chronicles, 2nd Chronicles, and 1st Kings and 2nd Kings in the Old Testament. So after a time when God, God continued on in the children of Israel, the northern kingdom, and did, but all the kings of the northern kingdom was wicked kings. There was not no one righteous king from the northern kingdom. All of them was wicked because all of them worshipping idols and idolatry in the land. Yes, the righteous kings come from the house of Judah. The southern kingdom, it had wicked kings there too, but the righteous, that crops of righteous kings coming from the house of Judah, the southern kingdom, not the northern kingdom. Then God warned them over a period, of, for a long period of time, I have to condense it there so I, I can get, get the full word to word all the history because as you know that is volumes of information, so you all know on all the parts, right? You all need to do all the research and read all the Bible. So the information i did give you, you you all you all will further get that in all the reading and all the um other literatures that you all come across about the true history of the ten large tribes of israel okay as we continue and after time god warned the southern king the northern kingdom they didn't want to listen to him and he moved them in the time of no, no, he removed them from the northern kingdom they went into captivity, went to the British Isles, the Western and Eastern Europe. He sent them to that part of the world and they lose the culture and the name of the God and the history and all these times after a generation and a half pass. So people can identify who they was because they set in Europe, the British Isles, England and all these different places brothers and sisters. So who went into captivity first? The Ten Law Stripes. The house of Judah went after, but I'm dealing with the ten lost tribes. But where they went, God knew exactly where he sent them. They was lost to the world, but not to God. And who are the ten lost tribes of the house of Israel today? Mm -hmm. I, we will lose, I will leave that in the next video, brothers and sisters. But I just want to state up front. 
Whether the 10 law stripes are black people, I don't have a problem with that. Whether they are white people, I don't have a problem with that. Whatsoever color they are, I accept them. We're all part of the human family. You know why? Because God have created all human beings, all mankind of one flesh, of one blood. God have created all man of one blood to dwell upon the earth. There's one human family, the white man and the blue, the, 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 the white man and the black man had the same blood. Well, they did not know that. All they think the white people are white blood and the black men are black blood. All their things mix up, yeah? Same red blood. Because <laughs> we all come from Adam and Eve. <laughs> the human family, ladies and gentlemen. So the ten law stripes, God knows exactly where they are today. <laughs> In the next video, I will deep specifically and mention some of them, who they are. But the ten law stripes are on the earth today. And when the time comes, according to the prophecies of the Bible, God will gather them and plant them back in the land of Canaan that he promised to give to their forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But that's futuristic when Jesus Christ comes in the future. He will fulfill that. <laughs> now, when the ten law stripes left and they went to the British Isles and other parts, we know a few years after the house of Judah was taken to captivity. That's in the time of Jeremiah. When they went into Babylon with Nebuchadnezzar, when he burned the temple in Jerusalem, and he took the Jews into captivity into Babylon, which is Iraq today, and they spent 70 years, and we read about Daniel, Meshach, Meshach, and Abednego, in the Jewish captivity. And then with, with Nehemiah and Ezra, and all of them in the Jewish captivity, and with the four kings of the Persian Empire, which is Iran today, which is Iran today, where they get permission from the kings of Persia to return back to the land of Judah to rebuild back the temple. <laughs> so the Jews return back to Jerusalem to build the temple in Jerusalem and they have set a day today. That's the house of Judah. The Jewish people, Je Peri, Shemi, Peres and all of them, they are the Jews. They are the house of Judah, Judah, Levi and Benjamin. They are not the ten tribes. See. The ten tribes have gone. They haven't returned back home. The house of Judah went into captivity and returned back home into Jerusalem and they have sat there today. But the ten lost tribes is outside the Holy Land today, outside the parliament. They are in the Gentile nations. They would have set them there. And you get that history from the late Herbert W. Armstrong and the late Dr. Gene Scott, two brilliant teachers of God, because I used to listen to them a lot. Tom Chong on his radio and, uh, and uh, I can still go back to the videos and watch him. It's a long time I watch him. You understand his videos is on the on the worldwide on the worldwide Church of God on the website. And I can watch all these videos on Robert W. Armstrong and also the late Dr. Gene Scott. All the information is on the internet with them. And also I could pick him up on short wave radio day and night with his dear wife Melissa Scott. So you see brothers and sisters, and there are other men who, who have the same history like Dr. Gene Scott. And Herbert Dwarf, that teach about the true history, about the ten law stripes. So my recommendation to you all, those who are following me, I, I, I am I am instructing you all to contact the Worldwide Church of God. If the program is on a Sunday on, on the television, or get easy to get it on the internet and ask for the booklets on the ten law stripes. The ten law stripes of the United States of America in Britain and Britain in prophecy and many other books in with the Ten Law Stripes and they will furnish you all with that information and I'll read it on the line on the on, online on the internet in the literatures from the worldwide church of God and get the magazine and that will help you all understand who are the Ten Law Stripes of the House of Israel. Then you already know who they are and there is not no bobo shanties smoking one set of marijuana and dreadlocks and claiming they the tribe tribe of Dan and the tribe of Zabalan, they not no no ten law stripes. Don't study that them the, and all of them who worship in hills the last year's God and go a lot of them have gone back to a lot of West Indians, these Bobo Shanties and some from America and some from the Caribbean. They have gone back to Ethiopia and living in commune in Ethiopia because they were going back to the motherland. Yeah, in Ethiopia because they see hills the last year's God, although hills the last year's have never claimed to be God. You understand? But they have gone back to the motherland. They leave the Caribbean country and they're going back up the you understand? Saint Hills the last year is gone and they from the ten law stripes of the house of Israel and all these things. They have it wrong. They have it wrong. 
they have it wrong they have it wrong my dear little brothers and sisters the only one who is giving out the true history about the ten lost tribes is Herbert W. Armstrong, Dr. Gene Scott and many others like him mm -hmm. you all will get this, this, the true history there yeah. but you see a lot of these black bobo shanties and them and these Rastafir and my, my, all of them are my brothers and other groups in America, black groups <laughs> They will say these white people is not the ten lost tribes because they will say these Nubians and these black, these black people, and and, and and first white people put them put their foreparents in slavery. So we're not going to these white people to teach us about what ten tribes because they say they will say they are the ten lost tribes and like the doctrine they are they, they are teaching a lot of people are, are believing them but they but they get the, the wrong information for them ladies and gentlemen i'm telling you all that the herbert w armstrong have the right to teach them about the lost 10 lost tribes of israel and that's the only place i could send you all nowhere else again right <laughs> that's a fact of the matter and of course you all could pick up dr gene scott type up dr gene scott or his wife melissa scott Pastor Melissa Scott and you all will and follow it up and you all will get the history book. He also taught about the ten lost ten lost tribes. And she and all is also talk about the ten lost tribes of the house of Israel. That is the only place I could send you all. Who else I could else is uh, no one else but these fellas. But then again there's a guy, um can I remember his name, but what was his name then? Right? And next one. Um when I remember I recall I will mention it in the next video. He also taught about the ten lost tribes too. Mm -hmm. And there are many other men who was part of the Worldwide Church of God or you know, the Breakaway and Formed Road Ministries and things. They are also teaching the same doctrine like Dr. Gene Scott. You all will get it from them too. Mm -hmm. I mean from Herbert W. Armstrong. You all will also get it from them too because they are teaching the same thing uh, about the, the Ten Lost Tribes of Israel. But so the Ten Lost Tribes is here. They are here upon the earth. Uh, they are here, they are here, and here, there. But everything God say about them, He will bring it to pass, right? So I leave that. That is in the hands of God. Everything God say He about the ten lost tribes, He will fulfill it in due course of time. Because you know God always right on time. We are the one who are late on time. Ooh. So having said that, brothers and sisters, because the house of Judah is the Jews in Jerusalem, Shemi Perez and them today, the Levi Judah and Benjamin, the Southern Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well on that part, I will hold it up because this topic is deeper now and I don't have all the information. I am mainly talking from the top of my head because you see I have no literatures in my hand quoting from you to you all. All you can see that right now. <laughs> Historical documents in front of me. I have none. Quoting what, what I hear from Dr. Gene Scott, what letter I hear from Robert W. Armstrong, what I read and what I read from the Bible by myself. You understand? putting all together to give you all okay so we'll have to hold up on that as I said I have a little more information to give you all than to share with you all about the ten lost tribes of Israel and of course the southern kingdom the house of Judah in that next video to come next week from now so so we'll hold up at this juncture oh yes brothers and sisters may God bless you all I pray and I hope that you all accept this video with a Christian High five with